Hey guys, it's Bria and welcome back to another video or welcome if you are new to my channel Make sure you like comment and subscribe. So for today's video. We have another haul I'm doing my first ever like collective haul. I always see these videos on YouTube like different people doing them like Aaliyah Space and Kyra and all that um, So I decided to do my own kind of like collective haul since I've been doing like a lot of shopping over the past two months This is kind of like a very random haul like I have so many different things like stuff from Amazon stuff from the mall Lululemon purses just a bunch of random stuff that I've been buying for like trips coming up and just things that I've been wanting so without further ado let's just hop right into this haul so I guess first since I have mostly clothes I'll just start with that like I said this is very random so I have everything from like resort wear to like casual clothes to just like just random stuff so first I'm going to start with these cute little target rompers these razorback rompers I could have got them in a small this is an extra small but it still fits pretty good. They're super cute, super comfy. They're just like this waffle, what is that? Waffle knit material. And they're the Colsey brand. I don't know if you can see it, but this is what the tag looks like. They were $25, which I feel like is a lot. Like, I feel like for the Colsey brand, Target has always been super affordable. Like I find things for like $5, $8, $10. Like this, I feel like should have been max $15, but I don't know, it was just too cute. And it has like these little buttons in the front. But I just felt like it was way too cute. So you know how to get another color because that's what I do. So I got the black and then this little cream color. These are very comfy, very cozy. Um, just something cute to like wear around the house. You could even wear this as like an airport fit with like a little cardigan and some Uggs. I don't know. But it's just very soft, very stretchy. And I feel like it just shapes my body really nice. It's very cute. Um, I think they also had a blue color, but I'm not really into the super bright colors all the time, especially blue. So the black and the cream were perfect for me. And I forgot to mention, of course, I will have everything linked down below if I can find the link. If I can't find the link, then it won't be linked, y'all. So if you're looking for something and it's not down there, that means I couldn't find it. Moving on to something I've never worn before, this little pink tennis skirt. Guys, I've been looking for a little cute tennis skirt to wear in the spring and summer. This one is actually from Aerie. It's just like this bubblegum pink color. And I like how it's pleated, but like the pleats aren't super big. Like if you know what I mean, like it's like small, smaller pleats. And it also has these little shorts underneath with pockets. I'm like, okay, Aerie. Aerie always does it good. Like they always have the cutest things, so comfortable. I love the material of everything at Aerie. This is actually the offline collection that they have because those, there's like two sides of area there's like the regular area and then the offline so i got this on that side and this skirt was 59.95 but i'm pretty sure i got it on sale like it was like 30 percent off they're always having some kind of sale in there so like i never buy anything full price and i think i also have like um i'm like a member there so sometimes i get like five dollars off but I love Aerie. They have the cutest bras, cutest underwear. I love their underwear. It's such good quality. So I can't wait to wear this little tennis skirt. I'm thinking like, like a white tank top and I don't know, some cute sneakers or cute sandals. But this is going to be really cute in the spring and summer. I'm so excited. Well, it is spring. What am I talking about in the spring? It is spring. So I got to start wearing this once it gets hotter out. Moving on to something I'm very excited about. Lululemon bag. I... My obsession with Lululemon started when I went to the outlet to go shopping for my solo trip. Ever since then, y'all, I've been obsessed with some Lululemon. And um, my mom has this scuba hoodie. She has like the pomegranate color and it is just so cute. I'm like, I want one of those, but I wanted a very specific color. I was looking for a light pink one, which you know, if you know Lululemon, their colors are very limited, very like on and off. You never know what you're gonna find. But when we went to the Caliucci's concert and we stopped at Lululemon before, Look what I found! Y'all, the cutest light pink scuba. I just love this hoodie so much. I got mine in a size um, extra small, small, I think. Yeah, because I feel like they run not big, but they're definitely oversized. But look at this color. So freaking cute. Like, I love, I love the little logo on the hoodie. And uh, it's just so so cute like Lululemon just everything to me and I was looking for like matching leggings but they said they don't really sell leggings in this color I forgot what this color is called it's like oh yes here is the tag if you're looking for the color I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the color code is FUSP and there's the price and everything so yeah this is the scuba oversized half zip half zip hoodie 
so freaking cute i am 100 percent wearing this next week um for my airport fit yes y'all i am going on a trip next week and i'm so excited so get ready for a vacay prep vlog get ready for a travel vlog and everything but enough about that yeah this hoodie is so cute I would definitely wear this well it is getting warmer out so i feel like this would be really cute if you're going to run errands like later in the night when it gets cooler or like i said for an airport fit with some little leggings or like flare leggings and slides i'm so excited to wear this you have no idea like i just love this color like i always say if i just love pink i don't know what it is i don't know it was just like growing up i didn't really like pink and girly stuff but i kind of did i just kind of wanted to be different like for some reason like i really wanted to be so different and act like i didn't like girly stuff but i really did um so yeah blue used to be my favorite color and then it was green but now it is 100 percent pink pink everything is for me moving on to a ton more clothes no these clothes are not from steve madden but um this is just the only bag i had to store all this stuff because half of this stuff is from a bunch of different stores so i'm gonna start with the stuff that i bought from jlux label um they're an online label i don't know i heard about them through Aaliyah's face and another person that i know they came out with this like resort wear collection as soon as i saw the pieces y'all i went on their website and ordered them because i they were just too damn cute um so first this is what actually drew me to the website to purchase um something this freaking dress first of all look at the print absolutely beautiful i'll insert like a little video because i did do a try on haul video um for my tiktok and instagram so look at the print it's like this yellow and cream i don't even know how to describe this but it is just so beautiful it has um this long zipper in the back that goes all the way from the top to the butt and if you have long noodle arms like me i'm able to zip this up by myself it is a little difficult but i'm able to zip it up by myself and hook it at the top so yes this dress beautiful i love this dress it fits so good it's not see-through at all i'm pretty sure this color is sold out on their website now but they are restocking like a black and white one so oh, i don't know this dress fits so good. I mostly bought this stuff from JLix label for my birthday trip in September, not for my upcoming vacation, but I cannot wait to wear this. I'm definitely wearing this sometime this summer, maybe even for my boyfriend's graduation or something. I don't know, but I'm wearing that dress. Next from JLix label is this very risque dress. I haven't like wore anything super revealing like this in a very long time, but I just thought this was so cute. I'm like, you know what? I'm turning 21, it's my 21st birthday trip so i'm gonna order something cute you know but again just a nice super tight dress it's like a knit material this one's white i wanted the green one but it sold out too quickly for me to buy it in my size so it's just kind of like this on the top i can't really describe it it's like straight with the it's like almost like a bandeau or a bralette and it has these straps on the shoulder and the straps in the back are adjustable y'all i'm really bad at showing y'all Okay, there we go. You can kind of see it now. The straps in the shoulder are adjustable and the straps in the back are adjustable. And it's just like this knit material and there's a slit in the middle. And then it's kind of open on the stomach and then it goes down into like this very long kind of skirt thing. Uh, this is really cute, but I'm scared that it's going to snag easily. But I think it's fine. It feels like very heavy, very good quality. So definitely, definitely worth the money. And it also has lining on the inside. So like I said, it is not see-through at all. I can't wait to wear this like when i first tried it on i was kind of questioning how i looked i'm like mm, i don't know how i feel but I'm, i gotta get out of my comfort zone sometimes and just try on something new so yeah i'm definitely excited to wear this with like some cute brown shoes and a little beach bag this will definitely be really really cute on a beach vacation last but not least from jlex label i have this cute little knit two-piece set so let me show you the top first so the top is kind of like this bandeau thing again but this is adjustable but not as adjustable as the other one it just ties in the front like let me untie it and show y'all what it looks like because it's kind of weird it was kind of hard to put on especially because i have like no boobs so i don't know if i would recommend this top if you're part of the itty bitty titty committee like me because it really doesn't fit that well unless you tie it really tight you put it on around the back and then you like tie it in the front and kind of like open this up but for me, I'm scared it's gonna fall down. Like I have to tie it really tight and then the little lining starts coming out. But it is very cute once I get it on properly. 
but I really like this again not see-through at all it has the lining and this like material the knitting is just very high quality definitely worth the money I didn't really know what to expect from Daylix label because it's kind of like one of those Instagram boutiques kind of I think but I'm really happy with everything I got here is the skirt that goes with the top um, it looks like this very beachy very island girl vibes um, I forgot to say I got all these in a size small I'm pretty sure that's the smallest size that they sell I don't know but I got everything in a size small again looks like this it has lining underneath so you can't see nothing through this girl the skirt fits really good too I like the like elastic waistband on it so yeah overall JLX label they're doing their things moving on I forgot that I had another thing from Target this is just something random this is the wild fable like knit beach shorts i don't know i got this in a size small they're just these shorts i'm pretty sure this is a matching top but i didn't really like the top because it looked like very baggy but this was 18 dollars again i feel like this should have been 10 dollars like it's really cute and like it's decent material but i don't know i feel like target's really up in their prices too much and i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it target so yeah just some shorts as a beach cover-up really nothing special moving on most of these things in here are from marshall's some of the stuff on top is not from marshall's this is a bunch of stuff that i bought like on different trips to the store so let's just go through this like i said very random on the top i have these little tank tops these little halter tank tops from old navy i never shop at old navy y'all but they have some really cute basic items there like i went in there with my mom we went to look for stuff for the family vacation and i just found these cute little tank tops like you can't tell me tank tops like this aren't amazing like you throw these on with a pair of shorts a pair of leggings sandals and you just run out the door like super cute for just running errands going out i feel like everybody just needs a basic tank top so of course i got it in the light pink color um this dark pink color because i don't have anything like this and i'm pretty sure these were on sale like it was a deal like three for something it says 12.99 on the tag but I'm pretty sure there was some kind of deal three tops for some kind of price or something so i got this hot pink color to switch it up a bit and then i also got this nude cream color with the white stripes just something very simple very cute like i said throw these on with a cute pair of shorts and some sandals and it's like the perfect quick summer outfit nothing special nothing crazy moving on i'm pretty sure all the items in here are from marshall's just from different trips oh i lied i lied there's some more target stuff in here um we'll put that to the side for now yeah let's start with the marshalls um so first is this michael kors hot pink bathing suit i've been wearing a lot of one pieces lately i don't know why not that like i'm like insecure about my body in the bikini but just like one pieces are so comfortable like i don't have to worry about the bottoms falling off like if i'm sitting down and my stomach's all squished up i don't have to worry about it I don't know one piece is just so cute like i wore a lot of one pieces on my solo trip and i mostly got this one so i can match with my mom when we go on our trip i don't know if i told y'all where we're going yet i don't want to tell y'all but um me and my mom got these matching bathing suits they're just super cute i love them the material is great of course and i'm really trying to wear more bright colors on vacation mostly i don't really wear bright colors like this but on vacation yes um so here's the tag the bathing suit was $30 next from Marshalls we have another basic halter tank top because apparently I don't have enough um so here's just another basic tank top just a basic tank top because you can't have enough of those this tank top was only $9.99 I love me some Marshalls y'all because you can always find cute stuff for an affordable price so here's this tank top what's the brand this is the aura brand and this is the size extra extra small slash extra small because i wanted it to be a little tighter not like super loose so again cute with just like a little pair of shorts or something oh next we're getting to like some of the resort wear look at these shorts y'all i love these shorts i did a little mini vlog a while ago like shop with me at tj maxx and a lot of these things are from when i shopped then so these are just these little fun fruit colored printed shorts again very colorful not something i would wear on a daily basis but definitely cute for vacation um it's definitely what is it yeah 100 linen so these are linen shorts very comfortable they have pockets in the front and the back pockets are fake of course um this is the brand cnc california 
it just looks like that. I've been seeing a lot of stuff at Marshalls from this brand, so if you're looking for any of this stuff, if you go to Marshalls right now, you will most likely find it because I feel like a lot of Marshalls tend to get the same items. But these are just really cute shorts. I'll definitely wear this with like a white tank top and some brown sandals. But definitely gonna wear these on vacation. I love these shorts. Next is this green dress. Y'all, this dress fits so good. Um, this is an extra small. It's like, you know like those satin dresses that you see? It's kind of like that. Ooh, kind of like that except don't look. If you can see my armpit hair, just don't say anything. Um, it's kind of like the satin dresses except it's not satin. It's more of like a stretchy like polyester material i don't know i got this in a size extra small and it's the sincerely jewels brand i see that brand all the time at marshall's like i said if you're looking for that brand you will most likely find it if you go to marshall's um this dress was only 16.99 again very affordable very cute but this just fits so well i love how it goes above my ankles like it's not super long so that i can show off my little ankle tattoos or whatever but i will definitely be wearing this this summer i don't know where or when but I love this dress. Definitely a color that's out of my comfort zone, but I don't know, I like green. I feel like green looks good on me. Another pair of linen shorts from Marshalls is these cute little cream colored ones. These are a little see-through, so I don't remember why I bought these. I think they probably just fit really well, but these are really cute. I love the material, and they also have like this lace detailing at the bottom. So cute. These were only $14.99. And this is the brand Sim, what is it? Sim and Sam. So yeah, super cute. This is a size medium. Yeah, cause they look small, but they're a size medium. Cause I think I tried on a size small and I was like, oh hell no, these are way too tight. So yeah, these are a size medium. Again, super cute, perfect for vacation. I definitely wouldn't wear these like around town, but definitely on vacation, super cute as like a beach cover up even. Like with like one of my one piece bathing suits and then like these shorts perfect to walk around all right and the last thing from marshall's is another pair of linen pants apparently <laughs> these are longer pants again these are the brand sincerely jewels this is a size small oh they're not linen it's rayon anyways yeah these are like a wide leg beach pant these are definitely see-through but these are gonna be so cute first of all y'all I would definitely wear this with like a bikini. My butt looks so good in these pants. I think that's the main reason I bought them is because my butt looks amazing in these pants, y'all. I was like, oh, they're very comfortable, very flowy. As you can see, there's like a huge slit in the leg. So definitely perfect as like beach cover up pants. These are so freaking cute. I have like a black pair, I think, and maybe like, oh, I have so many, I think I have a brown and black pair of beach cover-up pants, but not like a cream colored. So I'm really glad I bought this actually to wear with like my lighter colored bathing suits, but nice and stretchy on the waist and then just super flowy and comfortable on the bottom. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, these were $16.99 as well. Very affordable. Like I said, girl, check out Marshalls if you have not yet. Like if you don't shop at Marshalls, what are you doing? They have so much cute stuff there, super affordable. They have everything for everyone there. Go to Marshalls if you haven't, girl, because if you're looking for stuff for vacation, for the summer, for whatever, go to your local Marshalls, and I guarantee you'll find something. You're going to walk out there with something. And moving on again to some more Target stuff because everything is just out of order. Um, so these are some bathing suits that I bought. Again, I did a little video on TikTok trying these on. So this is just some random top. I don't even have the matching bottom, but this is from Wild Fable. Um, it was only $15, so I feel like that's not too bad for a bathing suit top. And I didn't even realize on the tag, it shows you like different ways to wear it. Like the straps are convertible and the pads obviously you can take out. But like, I didn't even know you could do all that. But yeah, it's just this cute little cheetah print. And yeah, a bathing suit top. Cause I don't know, I really didn't need any more bathing suits, but of course I bought some. Oh, y'all, I lied. There is a matching bottom. What is wrong with me? I'm like, yeah, it's just a random top. There's no matching bottom. What is wrong with me? Seriously. Anyways, this is what the bottoms look like. I really don't like bathing suit bottoms like this. Like, it looks like a diaper. But when I tried it on, I was like, okay, that's actually pretty cute. But yeah, this bathing suit is super cute. Fits really well. The bottoms are a size small as well. And the bottoms were $15. So $30 for a bathing suit. That's really not bad. And the print is so cute. I love this print. Next is another one piece, but this one, oh, I'm obsessed with this one piece. So this is the brand Shade and Shore from Target. This was $40 size small. 
a little pricey, but not too bad. And you know, that's really not bad, $40, I'm gonna stop. Um, it's like this dark gray. It probably looks purple in the camera, but it's definitely dark grayish color. Um, little bathing suit. It's square neck, which I love. I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like people with small boobs, like it, the square neck just looks really good for some reason. So it's like this and it has um, these openings on the side and then it's just kind of like regular in the back. It's a little cheeky, not really, but it's it just looks like this and it's just really freaking cute like i love the way this fits as soon as i saw it in the rack i'm like oh yeah that's gonna be cute like do you ever see something in the store and you look at it and you're like that's gonna be cute i'm gonna love it and then you see some stuff and you're like you know it might look good but i'm not sure this is one of those things i saw it and i'm like yep i'm gonna love it i don't even need to try it on but i'm gonna still but this so freaking cute like yeah go get this bathing suit go get it it fits so well and lastly of the bathing suits this is the random set that i was talking about it i found these bottoms and the top was so ugly but i don't know i kind of like this print like let me know what you think but i kind of like this print it's like a little different and just super neutral this is the brand kona soul from target this was 20 dollars size small i feel like that's a little much for one bottom but i think that's the more like expensive bathing suit brand they have at Target but it's just like these bottoms and then the top y'all I haven't had a bathing suit top like this since middle school it's a push-up top girl I don't know what I was thinking but yeah I need I was like let me get a little push-up little push-up top bra type of bathing suit um so yeah it's just a plain black top so I could really wear it with any bottoms and then it has like this little crisscross detailing in the back and the front and yeah just a regular push-up bathing suit top it is very very padded but i'm like you know what let me switch it up a little i don't have any bathing suit tops like this it's 25 dollars and i got it in a size 34b so yeah it just fits pretty much like a bra but it looks like a bathing suit so we'll see how this looks together i don't know i might return the bottoms but we'll see all right so now that we are done with the clothes i'm gonna move on to the bags now because i really want to show you all these bags i have two pairs of shoes and then two things that i bought from amazon but y'all i want to show y'all these bags that i bought first let's start with the obvious i mentioned this in my other video recently y'all i bought a new telfar i bought a new telfar i'm so excited this is the color i've been freaking wanting if you watched my telfar talk video i was talking about this bag Y'all, they finally restocked the black. Oh my God, look. I got the medium, of course. I wanted the small too, but I'm like, let me relax. Um, so I just got the medium black shopping bag. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to wear it. It's been sitting in the bag because I've been wanting to do this video for a week now, but I've just been so busy. I haven't been able to record it. So yes, the black Telfar. I'm so excited to wear this. This is gonna be my other everyday bag. As you know, I wear my brown one like all the time for work and everything. And then my pink one is my gym bag. And this, another everyday bag. I'm so excited. So yeah, it's just a Telfar. Y'all know, y'all know the Telfar. If you wanna know more about Telfar bags, go watch that video. But yes, finally got my black Telfar and I'm so, so excited to wear this. The second purse that I got is very, very exciting. This is actually a early birthday gift that I got from somebody. So that was kind of unexpected, but I've been looking, y'all. Okay, so here's the backstory. I went into the Chanel store, right? Um, and I saw this freaking tote bag. If you know the Ch um, Chanel DeVille tote, I've been wanting one of those for years now and i saw this one perfect size perfect color like that's my dream chanel tote of course i didn't buy it because it's just way out of my budget but i've been looking for a dupe not like a dh gate type of situation but like there was um these dupes on pinterest not pinterest there's like these dupes on etsy that i saw where you can customize them put your initials on i was so set and ordering one of those i was like yeah i'm gonna get that for vacation it'll be the cutest little carry-on bag and like i was so excited but then Coach came out with a new collection. Coach came out with a new collection with these tote bags. Let me show y'all. So of course it came, when you go to the regular Coach store, not the Coach outlet store, they wrap up your bag all nice and put it in a nice box. Um, this is what the ribbon looks like. And they also gave me a little free gift because they just love me at that store, y'all. I always go in there when I go to that mall. And they love me in there so they gave me like this little cute gift in this pouch and it's actually these little limited edition let me see if i can show y'all it's like these limited edition little patches and then from their new collection just so cute so i was like oh my god that's so nice 
but they're always so nice in the coach store definitely go to the coach store at westfield no what is that yeah westfield garden state plaza new jersey go to that coach store everybody there is so nice so helpful and y'all <laughs> it's dangerous because you're gonna see a bag you're gonna want and they're gonna convince you to get it so let's open up this box of course it's wrapped up very beautifully and here it is in the dust bag so basically there were two sizes to this bag there's a larger size and then there's this size which is a little smaller i really wanted the larger size because i thought that would be perfect for travel but it was a little bigger than the original chanel bag that i wanted so i actually settled y'all this is people like staring at me outside the window whatever um so i actually ended up getting the smaller size because it just made more sense like the big one i'm not going to get a lot of use out of and i already have a large tote like i have my large telfar and now i have my all my medium telfars so it didn't make sense to get another large tote bag so i'm like let me get this smaller size so one i can use it every day and it'll be perfect for travel so i don't overpack like if you watch my um airport bag videos on tiktok you know i stay over packing i put so much stuff in my little personal item bag that it'd be so heavy so this is just perfect let me stop talking and just show y'all the bag look at this bag y'all it looks so similar to the chanel bag so basically this is the what is it the coach reese tote yes it's this cream color it has these beautiful brown leather straps like the straps are sturdy coach they're not playing games y'all coach got some good quality bags like great quality i love my coach bags um so yeah this is the coach reese tote it has these little feet on the bottom so that the bag doesn't get really dirty and when i travel my hack i'm definitely gonna bring the dust bag so that when i go through security i put the bag in the dust bag goes through and i take it right out and i'll store this inside the purse but yeah anyways so it has the top handle. It, it's very, very similar to the Chanel tote. It has the top handle, and then it also has these shoulder straps, y'all. Look at these straps. First of all, they have this beautiful leather chain detailing. Like, it's giving high quality. It's giving luxury. Coach, y'all know what you're doing. So yes, it looks like this, and it'll go on your shoulder. Let's see if I can show you guys. Like that, so freaking cute. I'm obsessed with this tote bag. I've been waiting to do this video so I can finally use it. I'm obsessed. So again, it's kind of like this with the top handle. So you can walk around holding it like this or put it on your shoulder. And it has this really nice magnetic closure and like a little pocket pouch on the inside. Yes, love this coach bag. So excited, so happy, so grateful. Like, y'all wait till you see my airport fit next week. Next Saturday when you see my airport fit, with the toe and the Lululemon hoodie. Oh, I forgot to show you guys another feature of the bag. So as you can see, it's like clipped on the each side, but if you want to, you can open it up so that you kind of have more space. See the difference? Like, mm -mm. I feel like when I open it up like this, it looks very similar to the Chanel toe. Like when it's like this, y'all, this is my Chanel dupe right here. Yes. So if you've been wanting the Chanel Deauville toe and you just like, that's out of my budget right now, Go get you a Coach Reese tote. They got the small and the large size. Plenty of options. Very, very affordable compared to Chanel. Definitely recommend going to Coach if you're looking for a super high quality bag at a more affordable price than like these higher end designer brands. All right, lastly, I just have two things to show you from Amazon and two pairs of shoes. So let me show you these things really quick. So I got these um, sweet sweat belts from Amazon, y'all. I'm obsessed with these sweet sweat belts. I have like a black and like pink one, like the original one. Every time I use it at the gym, y'all, I be sweating. Like I feel like my waistline has gotten so much smaller from like sweating a lot with that thing on. Like it just works really, really well. So now that it's summer and I don't really wear a hoodie or sweater at the gym anymore, I got these more neutral colored ones so I can wear them like on top of my clothes because i usually wear it over top of like whatever sports bra or tank top i'm wearing and then i have like a sweater or my lululemon jacket on um but it's just the the one i have does not match my gym outfits and if you know me i like to match so i had to get these neutral color ones i got this pink one this is what it looks like sweet sweat it's just the regular sweet sweat band you know you wrap it around but this color is so freaking cute Oh my god, look at this pink color. I'm so excited to wear these. 
I don't know. I just feel I just feel weird when I wear my other one over my clothes with no jacket, and it just doesn't match. Like, it just looks weird. Like, I need to match and look cute at all times. It don't matter where I'm going, girl. I need to match and look cute. And yeah, I got these both from Amazon. Apparently, it's the Tone Collection. And then, oh, maybe it has a color on the bag. Oh, okay, yeah. So that color was the color Stone, but it's like a pink color. And then this is the color Quartz. It's like this nude cream color. Again, super cute, super neutral. It'll go with all my gym outfits. And girl, I'm about to be sweating, getting back in the gym, getting cute, getting this body right. Like, I don't know, I've just really been in my gym girl era. I love using these to help sweat around my waist area. I really, really can see the difference in like, when I look in the mirror, I'm like, this thing is working. This thing is working, okay? Oh, and I forgot, it also comes with these little wash bags. So it just looks like this. I also use this bag to carry them around to the gym. It's just a little drawstring net bag and I also wash them inside of here and then I take them out of this thing to air dry on a rack. I never put them in the dryer after I wash them. All right, last but certainly not least, I got these shoes from DSW. Y'all, these aren't shoes that I typically wear, but I bought them for a very specific purpose, okay? Another reason I bought these shoes is because I've been looking them on Amazon for so long now. I specifically wanted them as like water shoes slash like vacation shoes slash like hiking sandals, if you know what I mean. Um, but I've been looking at them on Amazon for a while now and I went to two different DSWs to see what they had. Y'all, I got two pairs of Tiva sandals on like super clearance, okay? So, so this is one pair. I found these at, um, I don't remember what DSW, but these were on clearance, right? They're not like the cutest sandal. They look kind of weird, but when you put them on, they're not, they're not too bad. So these are the gray ones. They're like gray, pink, and what is the other color? like gray pinkish silver these are very very comfortable too and very adjustable i could use in a size 10 y'all i got big old feet um but yeah these sandals are usually like 65 70 80 dollars y'all i found these on clearance for 54.99 and the tags and you know like tags of dsw how it's like blue yellow red silver these were also 50 percent off of that price and i had 10 dollar rewards y'all I paid like what? $10 for these shoes! $10! I'm always gonna find me a deal no matter what. Like like I said, I love buying nice things, expensive things, but I will continue to shop at Marshalls and find me some deals. I will continue to use my coupons, go to DSW, go to, I go straight back to the clearance section, girl. When I walk into DSW, straight back to the clearance. I don't ever look at the regular section, girl. I'm right to the clearance because I'll be finding cute stuff, okay? All right, so these are the second pair I got at a different DSW. This is actually a different style. These are like, I don't know, they're like more industrial. Like, like the other ones are very casual and like small on the bottom. But these ones are very thick, thick and like strong, girl. Like, these are definitely gonna be like good water shoes ones. Cause I have water shoes that I wore on vacation, but they're just so freaking ugly. Like. I don't know, they just like, you know them sock looking water shoes with the Velcro, sh Velcro strap? They're just not cute. So I really like the Tiva ones. I feel like they're a lot cuter. I think these ones would be perfect because like I said, they're super thick, strong on the bottom. None of these sea urchins are gonna tear up my feet. So I'm excited to wear these on my little beach adventure because of my solo trip. I forgot my water shoes. Well, I forgot to bring them with me and they were ugly anyway. So I wish I had these with these. You know, y'all sorry I'm all over the place right now. This, these are the shoes I was talking about on my solo trip video. If you saw, you probably didn't, but if you did, I did mention in the video that my aunt has shoes like the other ones, the first ones I showed you. She had the Tivo shoes or whatever, and she wore them in Jamaica, and I wanted them, and I finally found them for my next trip. I'm like, yep, yeah, on my next trip, I'm getting some Tivo water shoes, y'all. When I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. So I got two pairs of my Tivo water shoes, and I am all ready for vacation. Don't play with me. Okay, and like I said, I got them for a deal instead of freaking $60 on Amazon. Well, these ones were on clearance for $74.99. Like I said, these are a more expensive style because they're like more heavy duty. So these were on clearance for $74.99 and then they were an additional 50% off. So I ended up getting these ones. I had a $10 off it as well. So I got these for $27.49. $27.49 for an 80 something dollar pair of sandals. Don't play with me. All right, and that is everything that I have on this collective haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing all my random stuff that I buy throughout the month. 
Um, yes, I'm very happy with everything that I found. I can't wait to wear my tote bar. I can't wait to wear my coach tote next week. Oh, I'm so excited to wear everything. My bathing suits. Oh my God. Like I have so many clothes. I have no idea what I'm going to pack next week, but I'm just so excited guys. Um, so yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what your favorite item out of this video was. And like I said, all the links will be down below if I can find them. So go check out down there. Also check out my Amazon storefront if you haven't. I don't think I've ever mentioned my Amazon storefront in the video, but y'all, go check out my Amazon storefront. Support me, support your girl. But yeah, like I said, the next videos coming up are very, very exciting. I can't wait to show you guys everything. Um, I'm just very excited for everything that's coming up this month. I have so many fun things planned and I'm trying to stay consistent, y'all. So cut me some slack. I be working all the time and I'm trying to really be consistent while also taking care of myself and my mental health, okay? Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye guys.